Okay, we're modeling through uh, an, an E string shaped circle to go up the E diatonic. Um, yeah, it is, it is pretty much the E diatonic there. I mean, if we're playing the uh, E shaped E, actually it's the F. It's the E shaped F diatonic. Okay, seven root two, three, four, five, six, seven root two, three, four, warp up for A, five, six, back up to the E shape, seven root two. Last but not least, <coughs> and I'm gonna use my baritone section down here on my guitar. Uh, we have the D shape, which is two, three, four for D, go to A, five, six. E, we're going to bring it down half a step for seven root two. Okay, C is three, four, five on string four from the bottom. And G is uh, six, seven root. And D is two, three, four again. So we have the caged. We, we stumbled over E, but we have the caged five. Okay. <coughs> now, these... Notice we went around five, and then the top was a repeat of itself. So if we look at, for instance, the C, starting from the C down here, and I've only labeled for the major, but it's still the same string shapes. So the labels for the minor, okay, if we have C, it will be this C down here, or the same thing. I put C here, but you know that's for C. D here and the reason I did that was because when we start the D cage string shape circle we started on D so I put the D there and that's that's all it is in the cage shape of D we start on the D we have here a nice S 3 D which is just three strings from the D and notice the E the E string is always going to be over like that unless for instance in the C box it's warped over for us so that we don't you know let's say if we have a, a fret nut right here okay that that E string is going to be warped over that E sh string shaped string is going to be warped over for us like that okay actually um, yeah it would be because that would be string number five so it, in the C box even if we put the capo on Okay, so now we're calling it the C box here. Okay, even if we put the capo on, we have three, four, five, six, seven root. Okay, two, three, four on the D string, the D the string, D shaped string, but that's just a coincidence that they're the same thing there. Now five, six, okay, it's a G to the A. Now seven root two comes over for us. Okay, so the seven goes right over the five, which is a, which is a third, and then of course repeat. The uh, top string follows uh, back into P4 tuning. So that in that case, uh, you know, it's brought over for us in the C box. So I put the C here. This is the this is the pattern we're going to use when we do a major uh, with a major triad with the C. Okay. When we do a, a pattern, let's say, so when we're starting the C, so think of the word cage. We've got C, D, E, A, and G here. So I've got all five of them. When we start a G, we can play what's called an S5 G there. Okay, so up by the G, it's, it's easy for me. It's just, it's just diatonically, it would be. And then warp the top one up. Notice there's five strings there, so three, four, five warps up. And then the G just follows that straight on top of it. It's always on top of it uh, as far as the, you know, as if it was a P4 pattern, the, the tippy top string there. So we've got all five of them. We're gonna use for the E, if we're gonna start an E, we're gonna start seven root two, an E sh shape, you know, which would be the diatonic scale. Don't, don't, just worry about the numbers for now. Uh, diatonic scale in the E shape. And then if we start the A, I put the A string shape right here because when we do the A shape, let's say A shape, C in the A box. We're gonna start with the A string shape. 
and then go into that E string shape and top up with the A, five, six. So that's how it's gonna go. Uh, this is the best representation I can get of it. But let's look at what we got going on here. We have a major here that's three, five root. Okay, so this is the way, this is the shape of the major in the C box, all right? So it's, we gotta get used to it because remember, with all five cage positions, the C is always, the C string shape is always gonna be the same, three, five. <coughs> the G string shape is always just gonna be root. The D string shape is just gonna be three. And the A string shape is just going to be 5. And the root, it, it, the E string shape is just going to be root. So here we go with the, if we're going to start an E cage, same thing. E string shape is going to be root. C is going to be 3, 5. Okay, so in the C box, if we start it, we want to start in the C box. Okay, we don't need Mr. Capo particularly. It's going to be 3, 5. And then to the G string shapes, instead of six, seven root like that, we're just gonna do root. So it's three, five, root. D is always gonna be three like that uh, in a lot of them, okay, in major or minor. A is gonna be the five, okay, but in minor, A is gonna be the six. That's the only difference between major and minor, is A goes to uh, the, uh, G goes to the A in the key of C. The 5 goes to the 6. So instead of this 5, we're going to play the 6. So it's the white notes here. All right, so this is the, this is going to be in, in the... Uh, if we're going to do a D, this is now, let's say, a D pentatonic. Because remember, this stuff's going to be bound by the pentatonic. Okay, you have that D pentatonic. I'll show it to you. On, on the diagram, on the same diagram. So let's just zoom out a second. And let's look for that uh, D pentatonic. <clears throat> I think I have it somewhere. Should be right here. Short pattern stack, D pentatonic. This is a major pentatonic pattern stack. We start on the D here. We're going to go 2, 3, 5, 6, root 2. Okay, and then three, five, then we warp over the six root. Okay, and we're gonna end up with, uh, and then of course on top of that, uh, warping over that six root is just two, three again. So what we end up with is D pentatonic here, two, three, five, six, root two. This is actually what I played. 3, 6, we warped up the, the, the 6 root. The G gets warped over instead of being straight on top of it. And then <coughs> stacking, shape fitting, 6 root, 2, 3 again. You start the D again from the G. Okay. All right, so this is, this is the most exciting part of the chart. And... I want to also show you that we can do it in, in this kind of a, of a representation for major diatonic, major pentatonic, major triads. We're focused on major triads and minor triads using the pentatonic as a boundary shape. So we know what the pentatonics are. You just start on the on the letter that it's at. These are the long patterns, by the way, and the minor minor triads. Now, minor pentatonic is kind of like it's exactly the same as major pentatonic. Okay, so we will look at that. We pretty much got minor pentatonic here. However, I just put an extra stack of them here, but it's the same exact thing. So we start at the five six, end at the five six into the seven, into the root two. Start at the five six, end to the five six, root two. So it's the same thing. It's not really a separate entity. So minor pentatonic just depends on which note you start on, and that would be over here in in the 